Okay, in this section, we want to find um, the arc length. And the arc length is always where we take out a section of that curve. Okay, remember, we usually measure the length of a circle by using the radius and the diameter. But this time, we actually want to try to measure the curve. So here, we want to try the measure x. All right, now, how do we do that? We have to have a formula. The formula is S equals the radius times theta. I'll say that again. The arc length is the radius times theta. But we do have one um, slight problem. We need our theta in radians, but it's given to us in degrees. So this is what we have. A circle has a radius of eight inches. So we want to find the length of the arc intercepted by a central angle of 135. Well, just say if you were hand making bracelets, hand making um, watches or something, you need to know how long do you need is to go around someone's wrist. Almost that type of thing. Exactly. But we can see that type of thing. So the first thing we need to do, which we learned how to do earlier, we need to learn how to get this 135 degrees into radians. So uh, what did we do? Does everyone remember that? Into the radians, we we're going to have to say 135 degrees times pi over 180. Let's put the 180 right here. Okay, 135 times pi over 180. Now, the common denominator right here would be 45. 45 is going to go into 135 three times. And it's going to go into 180 degrees four times. So that's going to be 3 pi over 4. I will show that. Let's look at it. Remember, the common denominator, the, common, the greatest common factor, I'm sorry, is 45. So 45 will go into 135 three times. And it will go into this 180 four times. So we are left with three pi over four. Now that we have that, all we have to do is go straight to our formula. So our arc length is S. And that's going to be the radius, which is eight, which was given to our in our problem. And we're going to have to multiply this eight times three pi over four. And now, we already know how to do this. We can cancel it out, or we can go straight across. Okay, let's go straight across. Got eight times three pi, that's gonna give us 24 pi over four, which we know is going to reduce down to six pi. And of course, we know that pi, we want to get very specific. Six pi is equal to 18.85. Oh, yeah, we, if we want this, we need about 18.85 inches. And that's how we find the length of this arc. It's found by this central angle of 135 degrees, where it has a radius of eight inches.